Hey guys, it's Renee. For this baking video, we're going to be making some emoji cupcakes. For this, you're going to need obviously some cupcakes. I have on my channel already a recipe that is pretty simple, effective, and it always uh, tastes good. But to that, I'm just going to, with a knife, cut the, the top corner because it's like um, rounded. I just want my top to be flat. And then I'm just going to be working on my whipping cream to just cover the whole thing. I'm using jello whipping cream and I'm just going on the top of it like so and it just um, flatten the whole thing. Basically you need a flat surface. If you want to work with fondant that's fine for you but since nobody like that uh, is going to taste my cupcakes likes fondant that's why I'm using this. And then from here on start the fan and I'm just going to add in the description box what food coloring I use for this the faces. And then I'm just going to go straight with a toothpick and I'm just going to sketch the, the face over my whipping cream. In this case, this is the first one that I'm going to be sketching and it's like kind of a blowing kiss face. I don't really know how to call it. But it's basically pretty much on the brows, the eyes and the mouth. It's pretty simple as you can see. Then I'm just going with my brown whipping cream and I'm just going to over my sketch and kind of like painting over my sketch. And then I'm just going to with my pink whipping cream and I'm just going to draw a bit of a smile in there just like or how that emoji seems to feel shy and just kissy. Pretty much it for this one. Now towards the end you're going to find out that I add a border on my cupcakes. For this one, which is a smile, super smiley face, you're going to pretty much do the same thing as sketching with the toothpick. First the mouth and then the eyes, which are like moons I would say. We're going to go over for the eyes first with our brown whipping cream, following the lines and just with a toothpick smoothing the whole thing in. And now for the huge smiling face, we're going to be working with some white, pure white whipping cream. I'm just going to go like make the outline and then just fill the whole thing in. And I'm being helped with my toothpick to just smooth the whole thing in. And for the smile itself, I first started with some brown whipping cream, but I changed my mind because I wanted some contrast in there, and I just went with my black, and I just added some whipping cream, and I just made a bunch of lines in there, as you can see, and then one line across the whole smile, and that makes um, the smile for you. And that's it for this face. For this emoji face, which is like kind of laughing super hard, First I'm going to draw the mouth so I can know how much space I'm going to be using for that and then going to my eyes and then the eyebrows where I share kind of like two lines in there. And then the eyes are going to be simple like that and for the um, smile it's going to be like three lines of uh, white whipping cream and then just smoothing the whole thing with my toothpick. And then for the tears, because it's he's laughing so hard that it's, he's actually crying, um, we're going to be using some blue whipping cream and you are just going to draw some uh, tears or drops. It's super simple like that. And then because I didn't want to have like that weird line on the bottom part of the lips, I'm just going to add this black line and this is it for this face. And then for this face, which I like to call the in love face, I don't really know if the, that's the name of it. It's pretty simple. The mouth, first of all, is like a half circle or half moon. And then once we have done that, the eyes are just a pair of um, small hearts. The hearts don't have to look like exactly the same, just do the best you can. And better if you have like huge um, heart sprinkles, that can be another option for you to use in this one. Once we have done that, we're just going to paint the mouth brown. Pretty much doing the same thing that we've done before. First the outline and then the filling and then I'm going with the toothpick and just smoothing the whole thing in. And we're going to be doing the same thing but for the hearts. If you use heart shaped sprinkles, you're pretty much done. But since I didn't have anything and I just wanted to go and use whipping cream, I'm just going to do the same thing. First the outline and then, you know, fill the whole thing in. Use your toothpick to just help yourself smooth everything that you can and you want to smooth. And this is pretty much it for this face. 
Then here comes the cool guy, as I like to call this guy. I have no idea if that's the name of him or just I made that up. Pretty much going to be doing the same thing as far as for sketching goes. First the mouth and then the sunglasses. The sunglasses are pretty easy, just basically aligned with, like, kind of like, it reminds me to a bee. If you look, it's, you know, from one side. Then the mouth is going to be all brown. And remember to just use your toothpick for advantage of yours, just help with, you know, smoothing the line and stuff like that. The sunglasses are pretty much the same that we did with our heart shapes. First the outline and then the filling. And then I'm just going to smooth the whole thing with my toothpick. Adding food coloring to your whipping cream is going to change the consistency of your whipping cream. But since this one it was more liquid than the rest of them, the consistency is like super loose and looks like this was actually realizing when in real life it was um, whipping cream. So just keep that in mind that if you add a super loose food coloring, it's going to change the consistency a lot. It's going to make it a lot runnier. And then for shock face, or I don't really know how to call it, for me it's like, <gasps> I'm shocked. First I'm going to draw the, the mouth, which is pretty much a line. And then the eyes, it's going to be like two circles in there. And you can go back and forth regarding the size. And then the eyebrows are just like two lines with a bit of a curve. With my brown uh, whipping cream, I'm just going to paint the mouth and the eyebrows. Pretty much following the lines that I sketched before. And then for the shy part, I'm just going to add two pink dots. The eyes are going to be pretty much, you know, going with my whipping cream and just first the outline and then the filling, smoothing the whole thing with my toothpick. I'm just going to add two dots for the eyes. And then here comes my personal favorite, which is the sleepy face. First, I'm just going to start with the eyes, doing the same thing that I've done before, and then moving on to my mouth which is pretty much a circle, and then finally adding the letters. For my mouth, I'm just going to go with my brown and just, you know, adding brown in there. Pretty simple, as well as for the eyes, just two lines. And then for the letters, I'm just going to go with some blue uh, whipping cream, and then I'm just going to, yeah, write that down. And last but not least, we have the kind of mm face, or really face, as I like to call it. First, we're going to be working with the mouth. The eyes are just like the line with a bit of a curve. You can see what I mean there. And then the eyebrows. I'm just going to wor be working with my brown uh, whipping cream. Doing pretty much the same thing that I've done all over this tutorial or just video or just idea that I'm sharing. I'm using my toothpick to just, you know, smooth the whole thing. And then, as I mentioned before, I'm just going to go and add a border on the top of my cupcake to just make it a bit less of um, obvious that it's a cupcake, if that makes any sense, and just round the whole thing, make it look like a face. And yeah, this is pretty much the idea that I wanted to share. And I just want to choose a couple of my favorite or just most used emojis and share this idea. You can always choose your favorite ones and just adapt this idea. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it. Maybe somebody will find this helpful. So thank you so much for your time watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.